Hello everybody and welcome to the Pokemon Showdown Scoreboard Hall of Fame special. Last episode I uh, showed you the full team for the Hall of Fame, which is Excalibur, the Aegis Lash with an Air Balloon, Stance, Chains, uh, Shadow Snake, King Shield, Close Combat, and Iron Hat. Then we've got Slytherin, the Heliolisk with Choice Packs, Dry Skin, Full Switch, Hyper Voice, Thunderbolt, and Surf. Hermes is a Dwebble, which has a Berry Juice, Sturdy, Stealth Rock, Spikes, knockoff, and Rock Blast. Then Flick the Glissopod, which has an Insect Plate, Emergency Exit, because we don't really have a choice. First Impression, Liquidation, Leech Life, and Aqua Jet. Bertha the Rhydon, which has Eviolite, Rock Hard. Um, <clears throat> that went way better than I expected it to, uh, before I like stumbled over my words. Stealth Rock, Earthquake, Stone Edge, and Swords Dance, Hell Balloon, the Drift Loon with the Citrus Berry, Aftermath, Acrobatics, Defog. Destiny Bond and Shadow Ball. Without any further ado, we are in the OU tier for this episode. Let's get right into game number one, which is against a more Pico, a Upsagoon, a Weezing Gala, a Corsola Gala, a which is really, really annoying to deal with because it's gonna have Eevee Light, a Silvalli, and a Santa Scorch. I'm gonna lead with Hermes. I'm gonna lead with Hermes here. I don't know what you're going to lead with with more. Pico. Okay, so I don't know what this thing does. All I know is that I'm gonna set up stealth rocks on your. Oh. Okay. That is a thing. So you're now at plus two speed. So there's literally no way in hell that I'm outspeeding you with anything at this point. My God, that means you're probably at like. You already outspad Hermes. Hermes is a fairly slow Pokemon, so that doesn't really tell me anything. But you're probably at like between five and seven hundred speed at this point, so nobody on my team is going to outspeed you. But I've got Bertha, so I don't need to outspeed you, is the thing. Um, I'm gonna go for a Stone Edge, because you are switching out into something that has. Potentially has Levitate. It, I, it probably has Levitate, otherwise you wouldn't have switched out into it. Uh, do you have anything that can damage me, is the question. Not particularly. If that is your best move, I'm going to go for another Swords Dance. I mean, that kind of sucks, because now I max out at... Double attack rather than four times attack. This is still going to do major damage against you. Oh, that's potentially not good. Uh, but that just means I can't use Stone Edge anymore. That's not a big deal. Because... Oh, you've seen all my moves now. <laughs> Other than Earthquake. So you're going to go back into Weezing. You are not going back into Weezing. You let your Corsola die. That thing... You have no idea. Okay, so I, I died there, but you have no idea how bulky a Galarian Corsola with a Eevee Light is. It, it's insane. Um, probably not outspeeding you. Let's go for Slytherin. Let's go for Slytherin here, and... Let's see, Hyper Voice is going to be at least normally effective against everybody. Surf is going to be normally effective against... Everybody was super effective against one Pokemon. And Thunderbolt is going to be resisted by one Pokemon. So I think Surf might be the best option here. For all 90 base power. This obviously, yeah, okay. Um, let's go for Surf. I'm trying to actually like win some battles this episode. Because we've got, we've got the A-team back together. We are in the Hall of Fame episode. So... My dude is leaving and reconnecting. That usually is not a good sign. Glory and Weezing, that's fine. 60% damage. Uh, there's no way you're at speed, me, is there? <laughs> not even close. Bye bye, Weezing. Okay. Okay. I think Slytherin's mostly got this. Which, again, Slytherin is a UU Pokemon. I. Thoroughly disagree from having used one in Showdown. <laughs> I, I guess there are reasonings for it, but you are a Psychic-type. 
which will still not outspeed me. So this will still do a lot of damage. You're a bulky psychic type. But we're like, okay, you killed me, but I can shadow sneak you and you're dead. So that's the end of Silvali. I mean, you can switch out here. You don't switch out and Silvali is dead. This is actually like a fairly close game. Okay, I'm going to hit you with a... I think might be controversial opinion. I don't like the color scheme for Shiny Obsagoon. I'm very sorry, I don't. So we're both just... <laughs> you, oh, you have guts. I keep forgetting that this thing gets guts. Um... You probably still can't one-shot me, can Oh, that's close enough! The close combat is going to annihilate you, because that's quarter effective. So that's everything Excalibur had to do in this battle, really. Uh, I mean, I can try to... You're not going to outspeed. Might as well try to get off a little bit of damage here. King Shield, which is going to uh, just like... That was not a physical move. <laughs> so that doesn't even lower your attack stat. You're a special attacker anyway, as far as I understand, so it doesn't really change that much. Uh, other than your speed being higher now, I guess. But I've got Flick, which will murder your ass. Because I've got first impression on you. And then I've got Liquidation, which will take care of the Center Scorch, which... This is the first time I've seen a shiny Center Scorch. I actually like that one. It's not that different, I'm aware. But I think I like it. He left, he rejoined, okay, he just has bad internet connection. But that's that's alright. This might take a while, but this should be the last move of the game, and then we can move on to game number two, in theory. And that's been game number one. That was actually a good game. Game number two. And in game number two, we are facing a Togekiss, a Ventura, a Cloister, and Sandaconda, a Axodrill, and a Haxorus, which means that you have a... One Pokemon weak to rocks, two Pokemon very weak to rocks. Only two Pokemon weak to rocks. Still, that's two Pokemon weak to rocks, and you're probably going to lead with Sticky Web. Uh, I, I am aware. I can go into Hell Balloon and Defog it away as soon as you're dead. Thunder Wave! Huh! Okay, please hit three times. Thank you. Mikey is dead, uh, and that means that I can defog these things away with uh, with Hell Balloon, and that'll be that. Uh, by the way, the points don't really matter in this episode because nobody's getting eliminated, obviously. Uh, do I need you for anything else? No. Oh, you're going to rapid spin those away. You know what? Bertha's not outspeeding anything anyway, so the sticky webs don't really matter. Fuck you! And your entire family! Um, I guess we are... Defogging them away. Which, why would you use Rapid Spin against Hell Balloon? Huh. I'll try a Shadow Ball, just to do a little bit of damage. Oh! At least Aftermath did a little, of a little bit of damage. Hell Balloon definitely probably the worst team member I have at the moment, gonna be honest with you. Uh, let's see, Slytherin... Will outspeed. Not the right moment for Slytherin to come in there. Will definitely not outspeed. Definitely not outspeed. But that's actually a good thing for Excalibur, I just realized. Anything on your team really doesn't like a close combat other than Togekiss. Other than that, nobody's really going to appreciate a close combat. So you're probably going to go into Togekiss, I'm aware. Uh, which I don't really have a good answer for. I need to get rid of these. Actually, I can't really lock myself into anything with Slytherin just yet. I need to knock out at least like one or two Pokemon here. 
for that decision to be made properly. Okay, you're going to Earthquake next turn, I, I'm well aware. Uh, <laughs> except for the fact that you're dead, so you can't Earthquake, never mind. I didn't even think about the fact that I was going to kill this motherfucker. Um, King Shield, just to see what you're going to do. Glare. That's not going to, like, help you a lot, though, is the thing. Because I wasn't going to outspeed you anyway, and that's kind of like part of my strategy. Not outspeeding you. So... I guess another close combat? I'm going to go for another close combat. I'm probably not going to live, yeah. An earthquake with lower defenses. Let's see. Again, no way I'm outspeeding. But I'll live a move. Especially since you're trying to- FUCK! Trying to glare me. I understand why now. That is actually a fairly good idea. <laughs> Did not think about that, gonna be honest with you. That still does a lot of damage. And I can still leech life. I can aqua jet you and- Take out your Hexroids before it can actually become dangerous. You don't have a priority move. As long as I don't get fully paralyzed, Hexroids are taken out. Hexroids are taken out with a critical hit! Okay, now Togekiss. That's uh, a little bit more of an issue. Let's go into Hermes. You might be thinking, why the fuck would you go into Hermes? You fucking kidding me. You know what? It's not gonna matter. It's not gonna matter. I, I can do this all day. Can I hit more than two times after the substitute fails? Because, I mean, you can increase your special attack, but actually, is Slytherin going to outspeed? I think Slytherin is going to outspeed. Uh, yeah, Slytherin will outspeed you anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. And you can't substitute because you'll literally kill yourself. So I'll lock myself into Hyper Voice and that should take care of all your remaining Pokémon. In theory, anyway. Maybe Sanaconda is a bitch with a Sash. <laughs> I'm an Electric type. I... My opponent here is not thinking very, like, straight. You you try to use a Rapid Spin against a Ghost-type and Glare against an Electric-type. I mean, those are mistakes I would make, but that just goes to show you how bad my opponent is, because they're as bad as me. Game number three, we're doing well so far. The last game of this episode, and with that this season, oh my god, you've got an Aegislash, a Cloyster, a Dracopult, a Tyrannizar, a Go uh, Gastrodon East. I was going to say a Gordon, like Gordon Ramsay. That will be a weird Pokemon. And the Cinderace. Uh, yeah, what are we going to start with here? We have to start with Excalibur. We have to. Because you... Uh, I forgot to make my Pokemon shiny. We're not doing that, apparently. Um, we're probably we're probably literally just like tight. Oh, it's Sword and Shield. You, you, you're clever. Let's Shadow Sneak. Should have realized that. Should have realized that. You know what? I'm gonna Shadow Sneak again. <laughs> just because I want to get rid of the balloon. I don't even care that it doesn't do a lot of damage. I'm gonna King Shield now because you're going to Shadow Sneak. Shadow... You've got Shadow Claw! Now you're going to King Shield, so I'm going to switch out into Bertha. Is there anything in your team that has, like, Levitate? I don't think so. So I'm going to Earthquake and it's going to hit somebody really hard, no matter what. And go into Slytherin, because you're going to use... If you use Muddy Water, I... Fair enough. Slytherin. 
Sludge Wave. Don't get poisoned. Okay. That should take you out from this range. And really, Hyper Voice will do a lot against everybody other than... Oh, uh, you're going to switch out into your Sword and Shield. You're not. You're just letting your Bananas look 2 on a die. Okay. Um, voice Cracks are also a thing. Okay, so that's one of the Pokemon, it's the least worrying Pokemon taken care of, granted. Do I need you for anything else? I probably do. I do want you for... Oh, not, not for Dragapult, actually. I might want you for Cinderace. But I've got Flick. Cloyster. Actually, not a bad idea to keep you around for Cloyster. Man, that was a good move on my part, wasn't it? Um, let's try to Shadow Ball you. Because I outspeed anyway. And you don't seem to have a priority move. And that doesn't take you out. Should have gone for the... Oh, but how do I count that? Because Aftermath did take you out. I guess that is Drifflin taking you out. So I guess that's a plus one. I guess it's equivalent to a Destiny Bomb in a way. Uh, let's go into Excalibur here because I feel a Dragapult coming. Had I any like inclination that that was going to happen? No, it was just like an a instinctual thing, I think. Um, let's try to Shadow Sneak you and see what happens. Why would you do that against somebody that has stance change? I mean, King Shield. You, I know what's going to... Wait, what? That goes through... Oh my god! Did not realize I would go through. It. That... Uh, I did not realize. Okay, so... Uh, Excalibur's just done. Oh... Yeah, Excalibur is extremely dumb. Unless I can take out a T-Tar here. Which is actually called T-Tar. You got greedy, dude. You got greedy. That's what you get. You, you were greedy, you die. My god, what is that? That is a horrible shiny. Actually, I don't know if it's horrible. I, I reserve judgment for the time being. But I don't like it shiny so far. Let's just Shadow Sneak to get a little bit of damage in uh, next turn. Because I, I can't really do anything against Cinderace, and I think... Actually, I probably need you for the Dragapult. I need you around for the Dragapult. Let's go into Flick. Uh, do I outspeed you? I doubt it. Yeah, so uh, let's go for the Aqua Jet and just see how much... I A surprising amount. And then I'm forced to switch out into, I don't know, Bertha. Bertha probably, like, damages everything on your team with an Earthquake rather heavily. You don't like Earthquake. You, you're neutral, but you're also low on HP, and you, you'll also die to a high jump kick. Risky. I respect it. And with that, I think we win. Why would you lower your defense against somebody that has, oh, a White Herb? Okay, I did not expect to do that little damage, and you've got skill link, so Bertha has done for. Okay, uh, so nothing on my team will outspeed you at this point. So let's go for Slytherin and just hope that we can live a move. I guess it literally doesn't matter what I go for, Hyper Voice or Thunderball. Thunderball, at least. <laughs> what? Priority. I need to priority. I can probably take you out with the Shadow Sneak. Surely I can take you out with the Shadow Sneak. I cannot take you out with the Shadow Sneak. That is going to be an issue with Dragapult. I might lose, like, last minute here. I still got first impression I can take out uh, Spiky Boom Boy. Don't, don't worry about that. The thing I worry about is um, Infiltrator Include, which is a bit of a weird name, uh, honestly. I don't know how to speed you. I, not even close. I've got Aqua Jet, which won't do a lot of damage, but at least it's something.
I guess. <laughs> and then Hermes. Hermes, you can't take a move from this dude. So I lose. It was a very close game. <gasps> also, obviously I have sturdy. So this was always going to go my way. Unless it only hit two times. Now, okay, so we won three out of three. I think that's been it. Um, thank you so much for watching. And this has been Showdown Scoreboard Season 1. We won't be going into Season 2 anytime uh, in the near future. Uh, the Spotlight videos will be taken over the time slot for Showdown Scoreboard for the time being. And we might get back in like a month or two months or whenever I feel like it to Season 2. See you later. Bye.